My name is Miles Frost and I will be playing the role of Michael Jackson. Two things Miles has always been, Michael Jackson and Spider-Man. As a kid, he was always running, jumping, flipping off couches, doing backflips. We were in the mall, and he's running and flipping in Foot Locker. <laughs> and hit the side of the shelf with the tennis shoes. If you want to know who I am in a nutshell, that's, that's probably it. When Cindy, we went to church, Miles was about five years old. And as soon as we got in the house, we went straight to the piano and started playing the song we had just heard in church. So right then, I said to Charmaine, we got to do something about Miles. He played by ear, and he just grew in love with music. And so I just felt like it was my duty as a mom to nurture that. I've known Miles from the beginning. My father was actually his elementary school music teacher. My father's like, hey, Marcus, I got this kid. You need to check him out. Miles, man, he can jump on the drums. He can get on the piano. He can sing. He can dance. I'm a Michael Jackson fan. I always danced with Miles in the kitchen. She'll be cooking. She'll be like, Miles, come here. What you know about this? Turn the radio up. I will put on Michael Jackson. And then we'd be two-stepping in the kitchen. Doing spins in the kitchen, doing splits. And I'm like, OK. This is My me. little bald head sister. Yes. When it comes to Miles, I am most proud of not his talent, because he's very talented, everybody knows that, but just the fact that he cares so deeply. He'll always be there for you no matter what you're going through, and one thing that he definitely picked up was even if people don't treat you right, you always treat other people right. My mom has sacrificed a lot for my musical journey. She's a very blunt person. If you're not good, she'll let you know you're not good. If you all didn't get it right, you have to do it again. Oh my God. My mom has definitely sacrificed and has poured her all in, into me and it's made me want to do the same for her. I met Miles through the First Tee program when he was six. I didn't see the dad at the time, so I was trying to give him all the advice I can. I told him, whatever goal that you had in mind, don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. What was your first impression of Miles? Like the heavens opening up above my grand piano in my classroom. <laughs> this hallway was a, a really big hallway for me. This is the music hallway. His first show, Hairspray, was built for him. This is you as seaweed. Yeah, then they put me in that wig and I was not prepared for that. To meet somebody who was already so musical and had so much passion and energy as a high school student helped push and inspire me as a new teacher. How did you feel when you found out the news? Excited. I had to get on the telephone, call everybody. I almost had a heart attack. He's got everything that he needs right inside of him, so I'm a fan. <laughs> He's always wanted to do this, and to see finally starting to really step into himself and step into this role is very inspirational for me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna cry. I knew he could do it, but actually getting it, I know it blew her mind. It blew it's my mind. Day. He's always oh, been a star. Yes. <laughs>